Hello friends, welcome to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this series of video lecture, we will be discussing about practicals of microscopy. We will be discussing about the principle of light microscopy and different parts of light microscope and we will also be discussing about the different principle and features of light microscope and how exactly light microscopy is done. Okay, so if you wanted to know about the microscopy in details, then follow this series because I'm not going to give you unnecessary information only to the point important information that you will be requiring as a researcher in the field of biological science. So this is the first video where we'll be discussing about the parts of a light microscope. So here I have a light microscope in front of me and this is the microscope I'm currently working with. Uh, and in this microscope, I'll be telling you the different parts and components of a light microscope and what they do in reality, in real life. So basically, I'll, I'll take this cable out and this is uh, the light microscope. This is a trinocular light microscope uh, made uh, of different components. So let's let's move on to the different components that, that we are going to discuss here. So I'm going to put it straight forward like this where you can see. Uh, different things. I believe you can clearly see things, right? So here I'll be stating you one thing at a time. Okay, one thing at a time and I'll be stating you the difference. I'll be stating you all the important parameters here. So in this microscope, uh, we can clearly see different structural units. Okay, so as per this microscope, you can see this is a unit. Okay, uh, let me bring it close. This is the unit. This is uh, the light source, okay? As this is a light microscope, then the most important part is the source. This is the light source, okay? And we do have a switch to the back, okay? To turn it on and off uh, in the back side, okay? That's the first thing. And after the light, because the light travels through a journey and the journey goes via. So always remember one thing. Whenever you are learning light microscopy, uh, when I learned light microscopy, I put this thing in my mind is that you need to follow the path of light. This is the light source. We start the journey from light source. Slowly we'll go through the journey and the direction of the light. And every single component that comes under that direction will be part that we want to discuss. Okay. So here we have uh, the first part right here. After the light, what we have? We have this. This is the second part that we have here. Right. This is known as condenser. Okay. A condenser through which the light condensed and then after the condenser what else we have we have the stage this is the stage okay this is stage this is the stage where we put the slides we place the slides and this is where the slides are placed okay this is the mechanical stage where we have adjustment in this side which we can easily you can see we can readily adjust the slide and the position of the slides front and back left and right side everything can be done by the stage right after the stage because this will be uh, the place for the slides placement then what we have we have this okay what is this this is nothing but condenser lens so this is where the lens started the structure of the lens for actual magnification started this is the nose piece where the lens are fitted okay four different lenses are fit in this particular model so based on the model you may have either three lens fitted or four lens fitted now modern research microscope models all comes with the four different lenses fitted this lens is known as objective lens objective lens magnifies uh, whatever object that you place in the slide the objective lens magnifies it okay and after the magnification further magnified by the eye so objective len lens is this and then comes to uh, this is extra unit which is not needed now last thing is this eyepiece okay so there are two set of i mean one set of eyepiece two eyepieces left and right side eyepiece okay this will further magnify the object okay so these are all the different components all the different important component of a light microscope Okay, it's very important that you need to understand this. And apart from that, one more thing that you need to understand that we haven't discussed is this adjustment. Okay, this is the adjustment slider. Okay, so basically what we can simply do here, we can adjust. This is uh, the broad one is a coarse adjustment and this is the fine adjustment. The small one is the fine adjustment. Okay, so these are the different knobs of a microscope. So now as we know about the different knobs of a microscope, I'm going to state you uh, important function of individual or feature of this individual 
parts of the microscope so let's discuss about that so i'm going to hold this camera in my hand and i'm going to state uh, to you how exactly these different components function and what are their actual roles so all right so here we are and i'm going to state to you the important function of individual structures and parts of the light microscope and i'm going to provide you some tips regarding handling of this microscope basically so the very first thing uh, that we know here is this this is the light source okay uh, this is from where the light comes in so i'm going to share you the light source of another microscope this is another model and i'm going to show you the uh, the light source particularly see this is the light source this is how the light source looks like okay and here is a controlling knob where we can dim the light or we can increase the light intensity we can do that on your own okay and in the back side what we have we also have basically in the back we have this power cable through which we power it and there are switches okay so this is very simple and straightforward there's nothing big deal about it then what we have we have uh, this adjustment knob okay so power source is very clear now about this power source if you are dealing with the microscope like this either the power source will be uh, of halogen or will be of led this is the led power source as the one that we saw uh, discuss here and checked here this is also an led power source okay let's turn it off and there are also examples where uh, we use the halogen uh, power source although the halogen power source give you very warm color and as well as uh, it heats up quite easily that's why we no longer use halogen light source now we only use uh, led light source which is of cool blue uh, like cool led daylight led color okay but if you are using a halogen light source if it's uh, yellow in color then you need to use a blue filter in the uh, you know condenser diaphragm setting so that the <clears throat> background color is not yellowish as a natural one that is something that you need to understand that you need to know the second point that you need to know is regarding this this is the focus knob okay uh, there are two different components one is a large component you can see here the large one another one is a small component this one okay the large one is uh, the coarse focus adjustment screw coarse means it will uh, you can clearly see it will take the slide uh, the, the stage up as well as slide stage down this is what's job is and the fine one also takes it up or down but you cannot see the change visually because it only transfers the slide stage up or down in very little amount so after you focus uh, with the course adjustment then you need to do the fine adjustment in order to place the slide in balance okay that's the idea of the focus now okay and remember always a tip for the focus knob is that always first adjust with the coarse then adjust with the fine okay now let's move to the next part and very very important part and that is diaphragm you cannot probably see it from this angle you can only see if i tilt this microscope a little bit here you can see i believe yeah. this is the diaphragm structure that you can clearly see this is the diaphragm structure okay this is the diaphragm and one one cool thing about this diaphragm is that in the bottom if we take slide it out it has a structure like this this is this is the structure it looks like okay this is the diaphragm you can clearly see it okay so this is a plate a glass plate that is placed there okay to gather all the light sources into the diaphragm like that and this is the internal structure of the diaphragm which is uh, adjusted which can be adjusted by this screws here it can be adjusted by the screws as you can see two screws one this side another one in this side okay now uh, regarding diaphragm i have a diaphragm as well as condenser in my hand this is a inbuilt structure of a diaphragm and condenser together this is a condenser lens you can see this is a condenser lens what is the role of condenser lens it's a system which is located beneath the stage obviously it's located beneath the stage here and the job is to collect and focuses the light source onto the specimen okay and it helps to improve the resolution and clarity by using the diaphragm here you can see the diaphragm i think you can clearly see the diaphragm in here the diaphragm is again uh, located beneath the condenser this is the condenser so this is the diaphragm located beneath the condenser here and what is the job of diaphragm basically to control the amount of light that can go inside the specimen okay so for example here you can clearly see this this is a slider this is a totally closed diaphragm we can open the diaphragm like this the diaphragm is fully open the diaphragm is now fully closed open closed so if you open it up a lot of light must pass through the sample specimen and if you close it down only a few, only a little bit of light can only pass through the sample specimen so that is the job of diaphragm and remember diaphragm 
is placed beneath the condenser so that's how the organization is done after that what we have we have mechanical stage and we have talked about it earlier mechanical stages role is to hold the slides we can put the slides in we'll discuss about how to put the slides and how to view the slides using a light microscope in the next lecture but in this one you can see that this is forward this is backward movements and you can see this is left and right side movement of the stage in order to position the sample specimen in front of the objective lens that is placed there that is the job of the uh, stage okay it's a very flat surface you can clearly see that and this is another example of another stage you can clearly see this stage little different but again it will work the same fashion forward reverse you can see that right forward reverse and left right all these things are possible okay so that's uh, that's the basic idea of the stage then comes to the objective lens something uh, that is very very important this is a this is how the objective lenses are placed and this is the nose piece where all the objective lens are attached and you can see in a research gate microscope there are all, always four objective one is the 10x so we start with 4x this is starting with 4x okay and uh, what we simply always uh, want to look for is the clockwise movement so 4x then this is 10x okay then this is this is 40x okay and this is 100x you can clearly see it's written 100x although <clears throat> i have three lenses of same company and this one is of a different manufacturer it's not a problem we'll discuss about the details of objective in the later slides but the role of objective is to focus and magnify not only focus but basically to magnify the specimen and to form a true image okay the specimen that is magnified by the objective forms a true image and uh, it's an inverted image and then we need to utilize another that is the eyepiece lens to view the image properly so the last component is the eyepiece again there are two eyepiece or you can call it as a set of eyepiece and in this eyepiece lens this can be either 10x or 20x or 15x in this case the eyepiece, uh, eyepiece are always 10x in this case 10x eyepiece that are placed in here okay now what about 10 20 and 15 we'll discuss about that later on but this is the structure and as this is a trinocular microscope so we have extra camera fitted to it it's a camera setup that is attached to this particular uh, microscope okay that's a separate deep but we only focus still the part of the eyepiece lenses okay so these are all the different components of a microscope so basically the job of eyepiece is to uh, magnify over the lens or image produced by the objective so objective magnifies it uh, to let's say in this case 40x uh, is set so 40x so objective will magnify to 40x true image inverted image then eyepiece will further magnify it 10 times because this is 10x so 10 into 40 total will get 400x magnification as a final product okay as a final image so based on this objective lenses we have different so if you use 4 and 10 40 then 10 and 10 100 x 40 and 10 400 x then 100 x into 10 1000 x so as per this microscope the highest magnification possible is 1000 x and the lowest magnification possible is 40 x okay so these are all the different components of a light microscope i believe you have a clear understanding of this now so it's going on right now so what we are going to stay is that i believe that you have a clear understanding of uh, this light microscope components and parts okay so here i have this microscope with me so i believe you have a clear understanding of it if you understand this process then uh, i'll recommend you to watch all the different lectures of this series because in this series not only you're going to learn about the practical aspect of microscope but also the theoretical aspect of microscopy light microscopy different types of light microscopy as well as electron microscopy and then you can apply this knowledge as a researcher in your research field to excel in future